So this raid, I'm gonna be focusing on making as much money as possible. We point fire that guy down. We check. Boom. Purple key card. Another player dead. And this is where we can make our big bucks. It's always a gamble here. You could get shit rolls, you could get god rolls, and anywhere in between. Got him. A vector. Good gun. So this raid, I'm gonna be focusing on making as much money as possible. Uh, and there's a few key things on doing that. It's farming purple key cards because you're just gonna get really high end loot that sells for a lot in a shorter amount of time if you get your hands on purple key cards. Uh, and airdrops, which are just bound to happen at some point if you're running Island of Tabor often. So Island of Tabor is where we're gonna be making most of our money. Uh, it has the highest potential for making money because we have a key card spawn at radio that can be purple. We have two inside uh, research center that can be purples. And then we have the orange spawn in prison at the top floor. So we check those before anybody else. It is dangerous doing this, but usually with high risk comes high reward. And that's how we're going to make good money. Um, I need meds. Where did I put the meds, chat? I think they're right here. Be nice to have a helmet, too. Do I have any helmets? I don't really want to wear a level one helmet. I want to keep that for night vision. I've got an Alton. Let's wear that. Yes. The school is in session, big whiskey. Now you can do these money runs naked. Um, it's just gonna lower your chances of survival, but it's still possible. Um, you see me do it often and succeed, but it's just a lot harder. So it's up to you if you want to go and kit it or not. Um, all right, we got to spawn at church. So I'm going to rush straight to research center. It's a close spawn because we want to check those key card spawns before anybody else gets to them. The longer the match goes on, the more likely somebody else has checked those key card spawns and has taken, if it's there, the key card and is, is long gone. So we wanna be first there. So that involves rushing. Now, when this video comes out, and a lot of people are already starting to do it uh, as they follow my play style, um, and other people just have this same idea as well, you're gonna see a lot of people rushing Research Center. So it's gonna be very hot, it's gonna be very spicy, but know if you get a good spawn, that means you're gonna be the closest uh, and the first to get there. So let's head in. in. Um, we head set straight to second floor. I think there's people out front already. There's people close. Head straight to second floor. Fenix is yelling because he sees somebody. Point fire that guy down. We check. Boom. Purple key card. Okay. Now we rush up. We check the other spawn. I hear a lot of footsteps. I think there's a three stack pushing me. Okay, the other spawn's there, it's not there. There's someone else in here with me. We're gonna go out the back, cause we got our purple key card. Check around for anybody. We're gonna drop down. We're gonna get out of here. We're going to vault. Okay, so you get your purple key card. You get as far away from here as you can because it's dangerous here. We wanna secure this purple. You know, someone ought to track your key cards. Parade ratio, I think you're definitely batting above average. Maybe. Uh, that's just luck though, baby. Okay, there's people fighting. Uh, over at military base. We're gonna keep running. So we need to secure military base now. 
If I hadn't found that key card, the next spot I would go um, after checking those two spawns is Radio Tower. Radio Tower is going to have the next key card spawn on top of that wooden uh, tiny cabinet, if you will, uh, that is just before the ladder room that heads up to, to roof. So I would check that next. And if we don't get any spawns, then we move forward. It's a player. He's down. Player dead. And we keep moving. We're gonna go secure military base, make sure it's clear. We get into vault, we make our money, we extract. Another player dead. I don't know if he has a teammate. We'll check for a teammate. Hey Dan, I just want to say you and Timeless got me into Tabor and I've loved your content ever since. Glad you enjoy. Great work. Dude, thank you, man. I appreciate the bits too. Thank you, Blind Potato. Glad you're enjoying. All right, so military base should be pretty secure, but we're gonna do some recon and make sure because we've got a good payload on us. We have purple key card. We don't wanna lose this. So just rushing in blindly is very dangerous. I do wanna check that guy's bag. It's a little bit out in the open, but we'll, we'll just grab it and move. And then I'm gonna get on top of that hill so we can see inside and make sure that prison and military base is clear. Looks empty, drop the bag. We don't want to be standing still out in the open. So I see a lot of people, oh, I want to pick this up. They grab it and they just stand still and look at it. You can move and look at stuff and grab things. It's very important to do. Very, very important. For instance, if I need to med, I'm not going to sit still, med, put it back. I'm going to move and med and keep moving. A target sitting still is a target that's very easy to hit. All right, let's do some recon here. No one in prison from what I can tell from this angle. We'll check this side. No one at the bottom of military base that I can see from this side. And since a lot of time has passed, most of the spawns are gone. We got two kills, so I'm pretty confident that uh, this place is empty of players. There still could be one here, but chances are very low, so we move in now. This is where we can make our big bucks. It's always a gamble here. You could get shit rolls, you could get god rolls, and anywhere in between. But it's definitely a chance of higher, much, much higher loot here than anywhere else. We get quad nods, that's massive. That's a really, really good find. They're worth a lot of money. Uh, some decent armor, shit guns. Uh, love this though, with a 30 round mag. That G3 is good. We get a scope. We get some AP powder. Um, so for instance, this I would say is a mid roll. We didn't roll anything too crazy, but we didn't get like, you know, garbage rolls either. Um, something that you're looking for, if you get lucky enough, is to pull another purple key card. Your chance of pulling p purple key cards out of vault room is incredibly high. Um, much higher than any other place in the game. So. Ideally, you'll get another purple key card, and then you can just keep bonusing and keep doing more vault runs until you don't get a purple key card. So, is that a plane? No, it's a car outside. <laughs> IRL. <laughs> Thought I heard a plane. I was going to trip. Okay, let's tuck some of this stuff away. I'm not going to take the AUG. I'm not going to take the extra armor. We'll take the G3, we love that gun. Uh, 
And we can check top floor to see if it's been looted here for the orange key card. It looks like nobody's taken the med here. That's a pretty good sign that nobody's looted top floor. So maybe we'll get an orange key card as well. Orange key card spawns right here, if it is there. Uh, these filing cabinets can be decent, so definitely check it. Just know you're very exposed up here. So if you're doing it early on in raid, you're probably going to start getting shot at. I hear someone walking around. Could be a Fenix. Might be a player, though. Be a player, he's being quiet. Make sure he's not sneaking up behind me. I definitely heard footsteps. I just don't know where he's at, though. some cases. I think I'll end up checking this case in here too. Cell 1 has decent loot. It's got three boxes. Most people don't check them either. So if you're going to check any of the cells, cell 1 is definitely worth checking. Okay, empty. And then we go extract. Except I don't think I have this extract. I'm gonna have to go to Boathouse. So this is a bit dangerous. Let me throw this gun on the ground. Yeah, I don't have this corner extract. So I'll have to go to Boathouse or cross the entire map. But now I need to start thinking about what's the safest route to do this. Safest route is probably out this way. Uh, and hugging this side of the map. Because people are going to go extract uh, at the crossroads over there. Pretty often. And we can avoid people. Because there's no extracts on this right side of the map here. So we'll head out this way. Keep an eye on the ridge line. People might be sniping from there, but more than like, more than likely we won't run into anyone over here. Also, a big pro tip for Fenixes: if you just kind of run perpendicular to them, full sprint, they won't hit you. They literally won't. What I mean by that is, we have a guy up there, so perpendicular to him would be this way and this way. So I could just sit here all day, run back and forth. He's gonna fire his shots. He's reloading. And he won't land a shot. He just won't. So don't be afraid of Fenixes unless you're running straight towards them or straight away from them. Then they'll land shots. Nothing to be scared of. He's somewhere in that tree. Might have shot him through the tree. All right, I'm gonna pick up some more supplies on the way to extract. He's still there. Just don't want to shoot him here. He's dead. Let's check this drum. Very good still. Pocket the med. We'll keep moving. What do you think, chat? 
Useful info, huh? Are you soaking it in like little sponges you are? So you can smash your lobbies? And make buku bucks and win your gunfights? Hmm? What do you think, chat? I'm gonna take some of these. Might as well fill up. Optics are gonna sell real well. Four grips, gun attachments, anything of that type are, will sell really well. Definitely stuff it. Food sells decently too. You make it all look super easy, lol. And if it looks easy, it's only because I've practiced it a ton. And I'm not special, chat. I've just put time into this game. So literally anybody can do what I'm doing right now. I promise anybody can do what I'm doing right now. If you just sit down and practice these things. It looks like nobody's looted this. So I'm gonna take a peek. We did make some noise with that Fennec shooting at us. So we should be mindful. Okay, someone's looted some of this. Another G3 mag. You know I'm taking that. Had a really weird raid earlier today. Research center, all the boxes were open. Stuff was clearly looted out of them. Mm. But the key card was left at conference table and they left a GPU behind. Really odd. Very odd. They must not have seen the key card. I don't, not everybody knows those spawns. Most people do, but not everybody. I could go check Radio Tower. I could be greedy here. I'm gonna be greedy and check Radio Tower. It's probably looted at this point. But in the off chance it's not, we could snag another purple key card, which would be great. I'm keeping an eye on Boathouse and I'm keeping an eye on Research Center as I cross here. That's where all the danger is and where players could still be looting. Research takes a long time to fully loot if you're fully looting it. So people will be there for five to ten minutes just looting it. Have you seen that Ghost of Tabor was nominated for Best VR Game of the Year? I did. If they win, they will add a trophy in game. Yeah, go vote for it, chat. It's in their official Discord under announcements. Um, it would be really cool if it won Game of the Year. Very, very cool. All right, let's head up to Radio Tower. Let's check the mag. It's probably getting close to just having a third full. Oh, it's still two vibrations. At least two thirds. Wow. Between one third and two thirds full. You gonna vote on their uh, official Discord? If you go to the uh, Ghost of Devor Discord, I voted already. Chat, do your part. There's a player there. He doesn't see me. I'm gonna get set up. He might have loot on him too. It's a two stack at least. This game better win over among us. It might. Tan, corrupt his code with that shot. I'm gonna try. They're gonna run to extract probably. The other guy's close though. Should be running to extract. One guy might be in here though. Might die here, chat. If they're sitting here, well, no, they're running to extract. I'm 
going down. He knows I'm here. Look, he needs to go to extract. So we can wait him out. I'm gonna swap mags just in case. Probably in a tree down there. Got him! Two stack down. They were heading to extract too, so they should have loot on them. Alright, let's go check radio tower like we wanted. There's good positioning there from us. Very good positioning. They didn't even get to return fire once on us. That guy went flying that as well. Has been corrupted. Corrupted. Good. All right, very good. They should have loot on them. We'll go check it out. Thanks on the nice shots, chat. How long after a stream does it usually take to finish a bit? It depends on. Oh boy. It depends on how forward I am with uh, recordings. I want to leave this on the ground somewhere because I need to eat and drink. Um, but usually about usually about three days on average. Sometimes sometimes longer if I have a lot of extra footage. Like three to five days, unless I send it to an editor. Like yeah, so people have been in here. The recent um, game show. <laughs> The most recent one is being handled by an editor, so it's gonna. There's a lot more work to be done, uh, but that should be done in a couple days, if not like. I don't know. It might even be done like tomorrow. I'll have to check in with Rivet. But if I'm doing the edits, yeah, on average three days. Can I drink this, please? Where's the center of my room? Here. Okay. Uh, they might have key card in their bag. They didn't check any of this loot uh, for filing cabinets, unless they closed them all. It looks like they did. This will sell, though. Take it. Yeah, they closed them all. So our boys should have the loot down there on them. It looks like there was a fight here. We can dig through these bags. That's some dead bodies. Um, take this. I love stan eggs, so I use them often. We'll take that. We've got a sight. We'll check for key cards real quick. None. I could use the extra bags. I might just take these bags out. I could take the other guy's bags. Take the food. Take the AK side rail. 762 by 39. This is a very common round and it's AP. And there's a lot of bullets in there. So we're going to snag this. Um, and that should be it for those bags. A vector. Good gun. So when I was watching your stream yesterday, I saw how you can put gas in backpacks, and it's very stupid how you can just have it out of the side amount. Yeah, it is dumb, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's like just the handle needs to be in. Like not really anything else. If like the handle's in a decent amount, it'll just work. Take the chip. What else do they leave? Couple mags, don't care, nothing on the racks. Let's check this. Hopefully they have key card on them. It'd be sick. If it spawned, then one of those guys has it. I will check roof super fast. It looks like they checked it, but sometimes people miss the spawns on this rack. Someone just dumped bullets on the ground. No, no spawns on the rack. Alright, 
Let's go. Don't see any people coming to extract. Just gonna need to worry about that hill over there mainly. All right, let's go check our two kills. Also, OPSKS goaded gun. Absolutely insane. Great marksman rifle. Good semi-auto. It does work. Ooh, if they have key card on them, it's gonna be so sweet. They might have a GPU on them too. Hi, chat. All right, let's see what these boys had. Basic armor, basic guns. Let's check their bags. I'm very exposed here. I could die, but I'm gonna check these. What the heck? Weird. What else do they have? Lots of ammo, more meds. I can't carry bags out, I got guns. Where is that extra med? I want the med. And I will take the optics. Hopefully I don't die. Most players should be dead, but I could get shot here. Question, do you plan on putting any dark and darker streams on your main channel, or will those stay on Twitch? Um, I probably will at some point. I'll pepper them in. There is one of them out there. It was a Tabor plus Dark and Darker video. What else do these guys got? Good water bottles. No cards. I want the water bottles, but I don't think I can fit them. I at least want this one. That one will fit there. Take the grips. Fuck it. All right, let's get out of here. I didn't have anything crazy on them. A couple extra thousand bucks. We'll take it though. And we'll get out. Kinda tempted to go get gas, but. Any advice for someone who wants a free build PC? One, two, three, four ghost kills. We got Dreamer, Truffum, we got Star Lord, and F Burp. Uh, RIP. Uh, we hit the goal of farming for a purple key card and checking those spawns first. We secured Vault in the same raid and also picked up a little extra goodies. What'd you say? Uh, blind Potato? Any advice for someone who wants to pre uh, built PC? I don't have much info on it because I build all my PCs myself. Um, building a PC really isn't as hard as you might think. Just follow a guide uh, and you'll be good to go. It's kind of like putting a Lego set together. If you can follow instructions, you'll be fine. But yeah, I don't know any good pre-built uh, companies to look for. But just for the sake of showing how much money we made, on that money run. And remember, we only got a mid uh, vault and I couldn't even take everything out. So if I took a lot more of the vault stuff out, we'd have a little bit extra cash. But uh, how much money do we have right now? Chat, can you help me remember? 685,000, can you oh, remember yeah. that? I recently cleaned out my bunker. Took me about two hours to sell basically everything. Ended up jumping from 800k to almost 2 million. <laughs> nice, that's a lot. Chat, remember 685,000. Someone, there you go, Vooper wrote it down. All right, so if I were to sell everything, 
which will do it for the video. I brought four meds in, so let's keep four. One, two, three, four. Keep the water bottle. I don't think it sells. We can check if it does. I don't know if they sell Have yet. Have you heard that White might be coming sometime in November? I did, and I'm excited for it. You should all be excited for White. Because it usually means new things. I'm gonna keep the AP powder. It probably won't sell for much anyways. Same with the rounds. We'll sell everything else. Um... Put the G3 on there with the vector. And we'll keep this. Alright, so that's everything there. Let's sell it all. We've got four NRSs. We've got three OKP sites. We've got an AK side rail. Uh, we have a Stanag sells for quite a bit. Even just one is worth $700. G3 A3 mag. Just remember 600. We'll add 600 to it. I'm gonna keep the G3 A3 mag though. Ah, no, fuck it. For the video, we'll sell it all. Smith site, 3,500. Walkie talkie, 7.2k. CPU, we have two of those, 1.3k each. We have our NVGs, uh, the lesser ones, 5k. Uh, ravioli can, we can get a thousand out of it. PC fan, almost a thousand. Thermos, uh, it's gonna sell for 1700. Uh, suppressor, we can get a nice 3.5k out of it. We've got two of those. Anchovy cans, 700. Chocolate bars, 750. We've got three of those. Um, we have a flashlight, 500. PK site, 750 for the one. Junk Ram, 360. Uh, the good NVGs, 10K right there. Uh, Chris Foregrips, we have three of them at 620 each. Tape measure will sell for 728. Uh, the 30 round G3 mag is going to sell for 888. Uh, the G3 itself, 3.2K. Uh, the Vector, 6.5K. And for a mid tier quick. Uh, vault loot, we pulled how much money? How much did we have before that? 836,000? How much did we have, chat? 685? 685. So we made, uh, someone do some math. What, 75,000? How much is that? 72k? All right, so 72,000. Uh, that's a lot of cash in a quick run. Uh, and we didn't even get high-end loot from Vault. So that was more of a mid-Vault. Um, so if, if, we, if we hit the jackpot on the Vault, which happens pretty often, well, we would have made probably well over 100K. Uh, and it's easy and repeatable. We can just go and do it again. We've got our setup. We've got food and water. Uh, I'm just gonna throw these on the ground. Um, uh, actually, I need to grab food and water. And we just rinse and repeat. We check key card spawns first. We get vaults if we get key card. Uh, and if we don't see key card spawns, we can extract right away after checking some of the other high end loot spawns and just roll a new map that might have key cards in it. So you just keep re-rolling maps after you check the spawns, you extract, you get into another one until you hit that purple key card and then you go get the loot for it. So um, you can rack up lots of money and as I said before, you can do this naked as well. Okay chat, oh fuck, I left my generator on, didn't I? This is not good. Chat, I spent all that time getting gas yesterday. <laughs> chat, I left the generator on. How am I supposed to do this in the dark? Oh no. Oh no. Uh, I need, oh my gosh, can I do this in the dark? Let me go to the shop. Fuck, I need light or else it's gonna be unwatchable chat. 
All right, we have to go get- let's go get gas. Hold on. Just quick, quick gas stop. Let's get a little gas, and then I'll go over aiming and how to get better at it. Oh my god. Yeah, we need to find that. <laughs> Chad, I've talked about this before, but I love the smell of gas. Someone just said we gotta get that good smelling stuff, and it instantly reminded me of that. Instantly. Tan's getting vault, I know. I gotta do a gas run, and who knows what happens. We're gonna get airdrop, we're gonna get all sorts of shit, and then I'm gonna have to decide. What do we do? Do I just get out the gas? Mmm, chef's kiss, that's right, power hour. Ow, ooh, wait. God spawn? We can extract at loading dock. Wait, 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 wait. This might be a god spawn. The gas is right over there, and then I just run it over there, and we're good to go. Chad, do you like the new 1080p quality on stream? Isn't it so pretty? Wow. So pretty. Dala is streaming chat? What? Are you guys ready? Let's go get, um... Let's go get gas and get out of here. Look, this is just enough. This is just enough. Now, we have to try not to die. I'm gonna get killed. There's gonna be people over here. There's gonna be people over here. Yes. <laughs> gas. Gas, gas, gas. You gotta put on the gas tonight. I'm gonna try and talk whoever is trying to shoot me out of shooting me. I can almost guarantee there's people down here at loading dock. I don't have anything to defend myself with other than a can of gas. Oh boy, there they are. Oh, they're behind me. Okay, just run. Just run. Just run! We might be safe, chat. We might be safe. We might be safe. Dude, this is the perfect gas run I've ever seen in my entire life. I try to have gas runs like these, and it never happens. Free armor, just in case I get shot right now. Don't shoot me. I'm just a man with gas. See, who needs to go shopping when you can shop on the island before? Hello, bullets ouchie. Very good so far. Hello? All right, our life is saved. We've got gas. Thank you all for watching. If you feel the video deserves it, give it a like, consider subscribing. It means a lot for my small channel. Also, I do a lot of live streaming on twitch.tv. The link will be in the description below. That's all for today. Expect more Ghost of Tabor content. And until then, I'll see you in the field.